everyone. I am so excited that you are joining me in this uh, mini-series of articulation practice. So uh, this week we're going to work on the bilabial sounds, okay? So bilabial, um, bi means two, and so labial has to do with the lips, so using your two lips, okay? So the articulation series is going to um, teach you the placement of these sounds, and I will let you know what age we usually expect them around, but remember, every child is different, so they're going to learn differently at a different time. But we can go ahead and prepare them if they're not there yet, but we can go ahead and practice and prepare them for um, where the sounds will come out so that they are ready to go when they start learning all of their words. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you subscribe below. Thank you. Let's get started. All right, so the bilabial sounds include the P, which is the P, the B, which is the B, and the M, which is the M sounds, okay? So when we are talking about um, the placement of where those sounds come out, it used both of my lips when I had to pronounce them. So P as in pop, B as in bubbles, and M as in mouse, okay? So I want you to practice that first, just showing um, your child putting their two lips together or and doing the P and the B and the M, okay? Another thing that we look at too when the P and the B sounds is that one is voiced and one is voiceless. So when you're talking about one that is voiced, it means that you can feel your throat, you can feel it vibrating back here, okay? So if I do the B, I can actually feel the vibration. If I do the P, it's only air coming out and not a vibration, okay? So our voice sounds, will you can feel the vibration and the voiceless is using air um, or it's just not coming from here. So have your child put those lips together that we practice and then go ahead and do a p, 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 p. Okay, so they can put the hand in front of their, their mouth to feel the air. P, p, p. And then they can put their hand on their throat to feel the b, 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 b. Okay, also a bilabial sound is the mmm sound like as if you have a spoon and you're eating. Mmm. Okay, so it's more of a rounded um, of your lips. So, mmm. Okay, so they can practice putting both lips together and making the sound, mmm. Okay? Alright, so that is our bilabial sounds, and that is the placement of where they would come from. Usually we expect kiddos to acquire this um, sound by age three. However, like I said before, everyone's different. They may be delayed. They may just not know how to do it, and that's why we're practicing now um, to teach them how to do it, um, or for in, any other instance um, that they may not be pronouncing. Okay, But H3 is usually when we expect them to have those sounds. A good um, food for thought um, for those beginning sounds is because once babies are born, they come out sucking, okay? And when they're sucking, they use their lips. So we expect by the time they're three to be able to get that sound because they've already practiced it from birth. So take time out to practice the placement. P, B, M, okay? And then um, we're going to go to the next slide, which actually gives you some different ways to practice, all right? Let's hit it. Hi there. All right, so we are ready for our practice time. A couple things that you can get um, to practice are a toilet paper roll or the paper towel roll, either one, okay? I also have bubbles, okay? I have a spoon, okay? And then you can also get, let me find it, you can also get a straw, okay? These are some things that help with our bilabial sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her, uh, I want her to practice the p, p sound. And what you're going to do is say p within the hole. And then I want them to put their hand in the front so they can feel the air come out. Because remember the p sound makes the air. Then they're going to do a b sound to make sure no air is coming out. Okay? So let's try it. Alright. Put it right here in your mouth. Hold your hand up. And do do it again. All right. Do you feel the air? Yes. All right. Now I want you to do b. All right. Ba. All right. You heard that? Say it again. B. Ba. Was there any air coming out? 
No, I wasn't in the air coming out. <laughs> All right. So that's one way they can practice the p and the b sound. Okay. Also, too, if they're having problems with just putting their lips together, we can use a straw to actually make sure they put their lips together. So put your lips on here. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. And put your lips. There you go. Okay, so you can see her lips are touching there. So they can use this, let go, to practice. All right. Now I have another helper. Okay, stand over here. Another thing you can do is have bubbles. All right. So we already know the b does not make um, sound, like doesn't make the air come out. So she's going to practice the p as in pop. Okay. But I want her to blow it so she can see that the air is coming out. So let's try these bubbles and I want you to say pop, pop, pop as it goes across. Okay. okay. Pop, pop. Oh, and she popped it with the pop. That meant the air got to it. Okay. There we go. All right. You can also do turn it into a game. Like the two of them could actually um, practice uh, doing the pop sound to pop as many as they can. Okay. So let me do it and stand right there. And both of y'all say pop, pop, pop. Okay. See how many you can pop. Ready? Oh, I popped it. Oh, I popped it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh. So she would win because she got that one. And you just keep going, okay? You ready? Do the Let's try again. There you go. All right. Okay? So come back here and then we got one more thing with our mm, bilabial sound. Okay? So sometimes they're eating soup or cereal or whatever food they have. I can have them practice with the spoon. Okay? So put your mouth on it. And then you're going to see that her lips are rounded on here, okay? And um, once you see the lips are rounded, that means that she can practice. And I want you to say, mmm. Mm. All right, okay? So those are just some things that um, you can do to practice. Of course, you can always find other things, different things that um, can help. And if you find some, just put it uh, in the comments down below so that we know that um, there are other things that we can use and we can be a community of wealth and knowledge. I thank y'all so much for coming. Don't forget to subscribe below. And also, there's a free packet below. So just click on the link so that you can get a free packet to practice these words with the p, b, and the m mm sounds um, in your leisure time. Hope this helps, and I'll see you next week for our next video. Bye. Bye.